Alrighty, Freddy. Um, yeah, I'm taking the chance with this um, music playlist. Yeah, it's a ramble. I'm about 11 days away from Can Games. I was talking to somebody about it. I've been daydreaming about it. I've been dreaming about it. Um, like I, I bike by areas that I'm like, no, I'm going to about to turn, you know, or I'm not going to turn right. I'm going to go straight ahead to go to Can Games. This talking to Rob about it and saying, you know, all these, all these rituals are about to happen. And I'm like, yes. Anyways, tomorrow I start, um, the moon group and my, uh, it's two hours straight up, uh, of writing. I have to have a project ready. Well, I don't have to, but, uh, you know, uh, the person encourages that. Like, it's like, let's get going here. Um, I've got a, like a bazillion narratives on top of narratives on, you know, things I want to explore um, about the Great War. And of course my, the game, it's all like intertwined for crying out loud. And of course, you know, people that I know. Uh, don't worry, you'll see them one at a time maybe. Um, so the first person I'm going to do as a narrative, which was the first specific narrative, was a... Uh, an alter ego of um, my daughter and now um, this person is uh, well, actually on a, on a side note I can say it uh, Zoe Dufour but uh, in my world uh, she's uh, Zoe uh, Popova all these characters you're gonna see are AI generated I'm sorry that's just the way it is it's free this one is not the greatest in the world you're gonna start probably seeing lots of resemblances if I showed you a ton of people but anyway, she's a, do you understand? It's not just because I'm just like whatever. I also, like I'm off into Wonderland. Now I get to go and research about um, the structures of hospitals. Like I went and downloaded uh, the way the uh, American Army structured their hospital system. And I'm like, holy F, that makes a lot of sense. But they uh, modeled it after the French. And they wanted to do something else before that. But it was like, oh, you can't do that because of, that's not that style of warfare anymore, and so on and so forth. Anyways, she's obviously... Come on, man. You you do not think I'm going to pop her on the Boog River Bridge uh, area? So anyway, she's part of the 32nd uh, Infantry Division. I'm slowly inserting her towards the front. Uh, one thing I love about the Russian... Ner for narrative. Let's go down this road, please. I'm like, oh, I love... As you know, I'm probably probably figured out I'm not into like boy I love seeing people getting killed left right and center give me a break um, she will slowly get closer to the front but one thing I love about the Russian or the, uh, the Eastern Front is the fact that it was not as uh, static uh, you know uh, in certain areas so they had to move around a lot so I'm like perfect which meant they had to keep uh, these types of people were at a certain level very close to the front so they had to deal with lots of you know same thing as soldiers like eventually they even started like scrapping like screw this we're not wearing a nurse uh, nurses uh, uh, dress and all that shit give me your freaking uh, boots and trousers man like if you want me to do some shit I, I, I need I need to like not deal with that crap you know what I mean like give me a break and they did I mean, what do you think, man? This is real life. Like, you're going to die. Um, so I'm trying to structure the whole nine yards here. So tomorrow, uh, and it's two hours straight up, no break. Like, they, these guys are not screwing around. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Crispy Galactic earlier in the week, and I was like, oh, my God, Chris, I didn't realize that um, these people are like... <laughs> Like, pretty, you know, fairly professional writers and whatnot. And I was the first person to contribute on the, or, you know, do you want to share your whatever? And it was just like a Neanderthal talking to Shakespeare. It was just like, oh, my God. I didn't realize until afterwards I saw everybody's jaw on the floor. And they were like, thanks for sharing. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, yes, I understand. Welcome to AI. That's uh, Zoe Popovic's mom. Okay, she's from uh, Saratov, Univer uh, Saratov, Russia. There, I found out later on there was an imperial, uh, one of the very first universities there. I think the very first one to have a medical facility. 
uh, one of the doctors there also after the war started up a neurological institute. I was like, cheapers jumping mother, that's so perfect. I understand she's pretty old. Hey, maybe she's got like a lot of yolk and you know what I mean, and the odd egg there. And I know he's pretty old too, like, you know, everybody's got a swimmer. There we go. She's been speaking to her daughter, uh, daughter, um, her younger sister, Sophie. Like I said, they look awfully simple. Yeah, I guess they owe, owe the family resemblance. No, it's called the AI free. You're paying free for this AI thing. That's what it is. Oh my God, here I go about trying to, uh, I'm staring at other games beyond, believe it or not, a World War uh, II game, D-Day Quad. I don't know what it is about the game. It's just such a sweetheart. Anyways, let's get back to this. So I'm trying to figure out the structures of, like like I said, this is uh, some printouts I did of the introduction to the American War, uh, the United States, the way they were doing it, and trying to figure out all kinds of things. She's going to start off in a field hospital. I'm doing four per division, um, and then she'll, they're going to learn that she's not too, uh, well, she starts off pretty early in the war, which means she has some credentials. Later on, obviously, they were just going to take anybody. You know, like, can you put a bandage on an arm? You're a nurse. Um, then it's, uh, well, there's core care. These, these are all made up. Well, not, not entirely, but I'm just calling it core care. I thought, okay, if you ever get a ticket to core care, you know, you're on, there's a good chance you're not, you don't have to go uh, back in, uh, into, uh, you know, um, battle for a while. Field hospital, it's going to be four per division. Um, there's the headquarters, the artillery, um, um, the first and second brigades, and that's how I'm doing it. So, for example, for her, she could, and we'll find out. She, oh, I'm going to roll for it right now. So Zoe Popova is going to be field hospital one, two, three, or four. I'm going to always try to keep four as the HQ, uh, just because of number uh, wise and so on and so forth. I want to leave it this way. So, uh, for example, that that would be third army direct. 33rd, uh, 32nd Division, 1st hos uh, Hospital, 1st uh, Brigade, get it? 2nd Brigade, Artillery, it always seems to be in the Russian uh, world for divisions, uh, the 3rd Brigade is Artillery, and then I'm going to go with 4th, if there's more, because of the way I've been playing my crazy narrative, then will it be 5, 6, 7, but I'm always going to try to keep HQ for, uh, um, number 4 is the HQ. So here we go, we're going to roll. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow, two hours straight up. I I do not use cursive. I'm uh, Mr. Like I said, I've got to practice on my uh, ambidextrousness, if you want to call it that, because uh, my hand's going to whatever. I got two hours straight up, no break. Uh, these people mean business, like I've said before. Um, do I have a D4? Hold on here. I just need a D8. I'm not a big D4 fan, so let me hold on here. Let me get a D8. Oh, what else could I tell you? Probably four trillion other things. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why um, I, I have sometimes like all these amazing, I think, oh, I got some like really nice things to say. And then I hit the live button and I just turned into this babbling moron. Um, 11 days to go for can games. I'm only uh, running pocket battles uh, this year on Friday afternoon. I'm trying to tell everybody and their dog it's free to walk around. If you want to play a game, it's going to cost you money and so on and so forth. But other than that, you just wander around, you buy games and leave. They don't give an F. Uh, they just want you there, man. Um, yeah, and I'm glad I picked up uh, uh, Union versus Confederacy. Holy moly, I'm really glad. It's awesome looking. Um, uh, I gave uh, the conf obviously the Confederacy to Rob because like might as well continue with the running theme because uh, we were playing U.S. Civil War by GMT or whatever. Wicked. We never finished it. Just like my uh, this one. Okay. This is my ouch guilty pleasure beyond whatever. I haven't even finished the goddamn game. Okay. D Day Quad. 
probably can see that. That's because I popped it in some dollar store counters. I would... Oh, okay. Anybody shows up at my house and you're World War II oriented and you're not... Uh, oh my god, I don't want to play that combat. Whatever, I'm, I'm a... I'm a World War II snob. I don't play decision game type stuff. Sorry, Charles Satora. <laughs> ah! um, that type of stuff. I'm just Charles Latour. As if you know for a fact, I would love to uh, sit on your uh, uh, chair in the game. Look, man, I love you beyond belief. You have no idea. You know that. Anyways, I'm just just razzing you, man. It's like part of the banter if we were playing game stuff right now. Anyways, here we go. So I just want to find out, is she going to be in uh, Field Hospital 1, 2, 3, or 4? But trust me, Zoe Popova is going, um, she's going to um, zip off into um, a regimental aid station and then obviously to a battalion aid station. I don't know about an immediate aid station. Maybe, I'm trying to, maybe I was also thinking about modeling it in a reverse way, in, in an odd way of the uh, Richard Belitho uh, novels. He gets, uh, becomes a cap well, pseudo-captain very quickly uh, due to circumstances. And they're like, holy shit, you took care of this, you know, rinky dick little boat pretty well for a tiny little time. Good, good on you. Okay, so one to two, it's gonna be obviously hospital one. Uh, God, I want something a little bit funky. You should, oh, I got all the other dudes out there, anyways. Remember, she's part of the Boog River Bridge. Sorry, man. I'm just... Uh, uh. Anyways, here we go. It's an eight. Oh, my God. F, she's part of the headquarters? Seriously? She's part of the headquarters? Well, maybe she, like, bandages up the... Um, the dude quickly. Do you want to see what the... Um, I've got them printed downstairs. Hold on. Y Yosef uh, Ulyanov. Hold on. It's kind of screwed up. I uh, find out, uh, find that often with um, a lot of the free AI stuff. They usually screw up in a, a hand or an arm or an eye. Hold on. You can't do animals very well either. Oh my God. very good with um, description. I see if I was better at description, usually, for example, I think I just said for uh, her, like, young Russian nurse on the Eastern Front in World War I. So, maybe I said shush. Nope, not there either. Darn it, I just printed him, man. Son of a bee. Hold on, I gotta find him. Where the hell are you? He's pretty funky looking. She'll never run to run into him unless um, you know something bizarre. But uh, if you can see him, like I said, he's AI generated. There we go. And like I said, he also is incorporated with the um, the board game because uh, she's right around the Boog River Bridge. That's about it, I think. Um, the other thing I was going to say was this Ross Rifles. Oh, as well, I'm doing pocket battles, like I said. Um, I read this over, well, not the whole book, but I read the um, designer notes, if you want to call it that. Um, really good. Come on. God, this probably sucks. Hunting tip. Yeah. Um, that's it, really. It is not, yeah, I should go and wander off and do whatever. 
Uh, yeah. All right. Hope you're having a great time. I know this wasn't a good one, but oh, way. Such is life. See ya.